Hello everybody. This in this video I'm gonna show you how to remember the derivatives of inverse trig functions. So to start with, there is no trick to remember the derivatives of inverse trig functions. And if there is, I can't recall. So if you are looking for some trick to remember this, um, then this video is not gonna be useful. But in this video I will show you a way or one way out of many to remember this trick functions so let's start so on the left side you put the real three functions of sine tangent and secant and on the right put the three co-functions of those functions so cosine for sine cotangent for tangent and cosecant for secant and they are all inverses. So step one, start with one over something as the answer of all these functions. Also, on the left, just on the, I'm, so, I'm sorry, on the right, just on the right, put a negative sign for all the co-functions. Third, is going to be put absolute value of axis on the bottom two functions. Fourth is put square root signs for the top two, so which is this one and this one, and the bottom two, this one and this one. Fifth is you simply add three or yes, just three functions. Uh, not functions, three polynomials, I think. First is one minus x square. Second is one plus x square. And third is x square minus one. Just get this all three values to the co-functions. So 1 minus x squared for here, 1 plus x squared for here, and x squared minus 1 for here. Notice that this function on the left and the function on the right are exactly the same except of the sign difference. There is a positive sign on the left and the negative sign on the right. So this is one way I used to remember the I used to remember how to remember the derivatives of inverse functions. So there is an outline I can show you for remembering the six functions. So step number one is one over all, which is just one over at all of those places. Second will be minus on right. So just net minuses on the right three functions. Third is just absolute value of x on bar, which is up here and here. Fourth is square root on top and bottom which is here and here and last fifth part is add 1 minus x squared 1 plus x squared and x squared minus 1 and the orders from top to bottom and that's how you do it that's simple. If you remember those five steps, you remember how to create this derivative of inverse trig functions. Hope this was helpful. See you next.